Hello there YouTube. Um, I did a motor test last week on the Brother Hobby motor and I had a little comment on there from Anton Rosick and he suggested that the batteries I was using weren't up to par really um, and he says that he's had much better results on a couple of other batteries uh, one of them was the Nanotex, uh, which to be honest I'm not a fan of, um, and the other one was the Multistar uh, batteries. And so I looked them up, I've, I've seen them before, but I had a little read of the reviews and they, they seem to have a pretty good review. So um, I picked up a couple of them in the 2200 mAh uh, 40C 3S size, and I thought I'd give them a go. Um, uh, just gonna try them again on the brother hobby motor as it's still sitting on the uh, thrust stand and so let's, let's go down and have a look at the specs um, it's not that much difference in size it says uh, from a zippy flight max which I was using before um, uh, but it's quite a bit heavier uh, it says 195 grams on the specs here uh, but the two I received uh, I weighed one and one was 197 grams and the other one was 199 grams so you know, a bit of a difference there between the two and also heavier than what it says there uh, most of the time when I get the zippies they're actually lighter than what it says on the specs but um, but this is I suppose is a 40 C constant discharge and it says it's got an 80 amp burst on it which is quite high uh, so you know I thought I'd give it a try uh, let's compare it to the Zippy Flight Max and that's a 3S 40C um, in British English pound money <laughs> um, there's less than a pound difference in the price of them at the moment so that probably would equate to about one US dollar difference and let's go down and have a look at the specs um, yeah discharge is a 40C constant and a 50C burst on the zippies and it says there's only one millimeter difference in uh, height of the battery but there actually is quite a bit more of a difference than that from what I've looked at it's probably more like two or three millimeters different so I'm not sure exactly what they're measuring it with and also the weight uh, the weight on here it says 207 grams for this battery and that is incredibly far off I've weighed it and it's a new, brand new battery uh, still with the original connectors on and everything and it is exactly 180 grams so it is quite a bit lighter than the Multistar Racers, sort of 17 to 19 grams lighter, which is quite a bit of a difference, and also way different to what it says there, 207 grams, what the hell did they weigh that with? You know, it weighs 180 grams, this battery, so I don't know what they were doing with that one. Um, so, <laughs> anyway. So I'm going to give these uh, two batteries a little test. They've both been charged uh, on the same make of charger. They're both exactly fully charged. And I'm going to use the same motor and prop and basically see what it does. See what differences in power. Right. So let's give it a try. Okay, here we are, we're all set up. Um, I'm using the Brother Hobby uh, Returner R2 2800 kV motor, and I wanted a prop that was going to draw a bit more current, and I didn't really have many on 3 cell that would draw a bit more current. Um, so I put, I've decided to put this on, which is a Gemfan 6x6 high speed prop. Uh, or also known as Turnergy 6x6 high speed prop if you get them from Hobby King and starting off with the Zippy 40C 2200 mAh 3 cell 
ESC is a Turnigy plush 40 amp ESC. There we go. And all fully charged. Ooh, switch the scales on. So I might do a half throttle test first and then uh, from that I will then whack it up to full throttle. So we'll test it at half throttle first and check what the amps are and then do a full throttle test. So. Seven seventy three watts, fourteen point one seven amps, and these are both brand new batteries. Uh, first charge that they've had on them since I've had them, so uh, should be quite a fair test. So let's see what the full throttle test does. Six amps, four hundred and ninety-three watts. Voltage drop was eleven point two four. Right. That's made the motor warm, but I'm doing a motor test here. We're doing a battery test, so let's try the multi-star. Okay, still got the same prop on, same rig, and we've now got the multi-star. So both 2200s and both 40C. So let's walk this up slow to half throttle again. Pretty much the same. There might have been a couple of grams less actually. Voltage drop that did. Right. Let's try that again on full throttle. So I think it, it, I think the zippy actually gave slightly more power at half throttle, but the multi-star gave more throttle at full throttle. So, well, more power at full throttle rather. So that's interesting. I have to look back at that and uh, put a little. Uh, I'll do a little thing at the end, posting the results bit more exact after I've reviewed the uh, reviewed the footage again all right so not a whole lot in it really um, let's I mean after maybe do a test again with it uh, pulling a bit more power on a different motor all right I thought I'd uh, do the same battery test but with um, a bit more of a powerful motor and uh, see if it makes much of a difference. So um, that's 
what I'm testing this week on Motor Test of the Week. It's a 450 size heli motor, 3800 kV, and I've got a 4.5 by 4.5 TGS prop on there. And the first battery I'm testing is the Zippy. So let's see what results we get here. So let's go up to half throttle. Okay, so I've got the same setup and I've got the multi star uh, battery plugged in. So let's do the same thing, walk it up to half throttle. seem to have held its voltage a little bit more there so um, yeah so they seem all right I'll have to review the footage again and I'll, uh, I'll put a little table at the end and see what the results were but, um, yeah it seems to have given a little bit more I think so yeah it seems all right anyway yeah, I think I'll leave that test there. That's just, yeah. I mean, I could try testing even more powerful motors, but drawing more amps. But um, anyway, <laughs> let's leave it there for the moment. Right, if you like this video, please give us a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't been here before. And uh, I'll see you again another time. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.